What is going on guys? My name is Mike Riley and welcome to another Riley's Tasting Room review. Today, the weather is getting cold. We have the flannel on and rightfully so because today we have Sam Adams Flannel Fest. Let's get into it. Sam Adams Flannel Fest featuring robust notes of toasted bread and caramel balanced by a light floral hop aroma. This classic German styled lager paired with a flannel will keep you cozy during your coldest of beer season adventures. This flannel fest is a Munich Dunkel coming in at 5.2% alcohol and 20 IBUs. All right guys, so we have the infamous Samuel Adams beer right here. This one is actually a brand new beer to Sam Adams. Every single year during this time, they create one new beer and they put it into that uh, like Oktoberfest beer fest uh, variety pack. So this is where I got this one from today. So this is brand new. I think August it came out. So we're, we're hitting it first right on the spot. And uh, like I said, flannel fest, we're wearing the flannel. We got to be supportive to this, right? So First of all, the pour, very dark. Um, it's a Munich Dunkel, so does have that German styled look and it definitely has that. You can see how dark that is. Kind of gives me Oktoberfest vibes. Um, let's, let's get the smell test. Okay, um, normal lager smell. Doesn't really give me any Munich, um, Munich Dunkel smells to that, but all right, smell, smells pretty good though. Let's uh, get a sip because that's what we've all been waiting for. I'm wearing the flannel. I got to take the flannel fest, right? Oh my God. Oh my God. I need another one. All right. So, you know, I, I'm getting a couple different flavors in here and... To be honest, I am not mad at all from my first two sips of this brand new beer from Sam Adams. It, it, this, right now, um, it kind of gives you a little bit of that like, like bread caramel vibe, weird, weird, to, weird little combo, but a bread caramel vibe and an Oktoberfest taste. Yeah, you know, overall, um, I, me personally, I love Sam Adams Oktoberfest. I think that's the staple Oktoberfest um, for the season. So, like, if you have my rating scale, it'll be like, oh, if your Oktoberfest is better than Sam Adams, really good. If it's worse, it, it's hard to beat. So, it's, it's like that middle ground. But this is taking the Oktoberfest, I think, that they make, and they just added a bunch of different flavors. That's what I think. I don't know exactly what they did. Um, like it said right here, toasted bread caramel. Um, I I taste the caramel and I definitely taste very slight caramel mix in there. And that's what probably gives us that little bit darker complexion. Um, but yeah, the, the floral hops don't really smell or taste any of them. But that's not a bad thing because I'm getting like crazy Oktoberfest vibes. And that's like, considering this is not an Oktoberfest, it's a Munich Dunkel, um, still a German styled beer, like an Oktoberfest. Um, it's, it, it's, it's giving me a, a very, very good taste. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm smiling right now. Usually beer just makes me really happy, but this one, I'm ecstatic. This might be my seasonal go-to from now on. I, I, Overall, the taste is there. It gives me, like I said, the October Oktoberfest vibe um, with just some other little flavors in there. Um, you get that German styled, like not lager, but that lager-ish uh, vibe to it on top of the Oktoberfest. And just you get other little slight flavors. Like I was mentioning that little, that little like toasted bread vibe with the caramel, a little toasted caramel on top of an Oktoberfest. I mean, we're wearing a flannel, like that's just the perfect night, isn't it? Beer right there. If you're trying to try to date, that's, that's my list right there. <laughs> um, but like I said, crazy good. Um, I'm really loving this bottle too. It's really cool. Uh, 
we're, we're matching. Um, has the flannel print down the back, that little um, orange writing, giving that that like Oktoberfest vibe, October vibe. Um, and yeah, you know, it's it's phenomenal, uh, really good. Uh, on the top, it says cozy and smooth. But I mean, overall, this thing tastes really good. Um, I gotta get one more sip and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I think about this. All right, so what I'm thinking right now, um, I mean, I just, I ranted on, I really, I, I can't really say too many, if any bad things. Um, you're, you're still getting the same taste. You're not tasting anything different, better, worse, anything. It's it's like that Oktoberfest flavor, but it's not. It's a little bit more flavored than the Sam Adams Oktoberfest because you're getting those slight, slightly different aromas and tastes from that, and I'm happy. I'm happy with this, 110%. Um, so for Sam Adams Flannel Fest, this is their first year doing it. I hope that they don't stop doing that because – a Riley's tasting room review. I have to give this like a a four point five out of five. Um, I, I I don't know exactly what could change, but uh, I feel like I couldn't give it a five. But like four point five out of five, you're you're up there. Yeah. I hope you like this review, and uh, I'm gonna say run out to the stores right now and get the Sam Adams Flannel Fest. Um, I believe you can only get this in the variety pack right now, so you're gonna be having some drinking to do. Um, and there's some Oktoberfest, there's a couple other ones in there as well, but this one you will not be disappointed with. So if you guys wanna find out more on this, I'm gonna leave all Sam Adams links and everything in the description of this video. And while you're down there, don't be a stranger, join my family, Riley's Tasting Room, and uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share with your friends and, and fellow alcohol enthusiasts. And I'm gonna see you guys at the next one. Cheers.